Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tech Tanner. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. And today I'm going to be doing a follow up video on a video I did um, a few months ago about this RV power converter. Now, just to refresh you, if you haven't seen my previous video yet, the link is in the description. I had to replace this old RV power converter because it was not functioning anymore. It just did not work. So I just had to replace it with a new one on our summer vacation when I wasn't at my electronics lab. But now that I've been home for quite a few months, and after a bit of procrastination, I've decided that I want to fix this RV power converter, and maybe use it for my own 12 volt power supply. So let's get started fixing this thing. I'll start by flipping it over to look at the circuit board underneath. As you can see this has some pretty heavy duty solder traces on here. The reason behind all these heavy duty traces is because of all the high amperage that this circuit board has to conduct. So the issue with this power converter is whenever I plug it in, it just makes a small humming sound, but there's no power output on the two output terminals over here. Now the first thing to look for when you're trying to find an issue with the circuit board is closely inspect every single trace at every single point. Because sometimes if the board is using so much amperage like this board, then very um, bad solder joints will actually blow up. So after further inspection of the circuit board, I think I found the issue. It is this solder joint right here. So this solder joint right here goes to the negative pole of the bridge rectifier on the other side of the board. Now as you can see when I set my multimeter to the continuity test and I try to test the continuity of this device and I touch it to this end, I touch it to the top, nothing happens. When I touch it to here something happens. So obviously these two things are not connected because the solder joint has blown. So what happened is when the trailer was plugged in to its power supply, this RV power converter had to initially draw a very, very high current. And this high current influx kind of melted the solder and blew it out around the solder joint, which caused it to explode. This is kind of like what happens to a fuse if you put too much current through it. As you can see, this fuse is intact inside, but if I turn up the voltage on my power supply, you can see that it easily went out. With that little red flash. That's kind of what happened to the solder joint on that board. And so to fix this problem, I will just take my soldering iron, and with some solder, I will be able to touch the soldering iron here and place some solder on the joint and it should connect it back together. Okay, so now after this one solder trace has been fixed, it's now time to fire this thing up and see what it can do. I'll reach over to my Variac and turn it on. And as you can hear, the converter is making some sounds. But, it runs perfectly fine. As you can see, I have a little small light inside running, and it's glowing just perfectly. This power supply can even supply high amperages to even power something like this 5U4 vacuum tube. Now, I know this vacuum tube is meant for 5 volts and not 12 volts, but it still shows how much power this can draw. As you can see, I'll turn on my power supply, and it starts glowing. It's even drawing 6 amps, and this power supply is still supplying over 13 volts, which means this power supply is working really good. This circuit now works great, and will make a very good 12 volt high amperage supply for many of my projects. Even though it will not be used in my trailer, or RV, because of the fact that it already has a new one, I can still use this in my workshop as a power supply. So, as always, thank you for watching and please subscribe.